Hey everyone, this is Mr. K, and today we're going to go over some logarithm rules. The first one, like it's, not, it's kind of a rule, it's more so like just converting between two different forms. So if I have something written out as a log, so I would write this out as like the log base A of X equals a number, we'll say B. So if I wanted to take that logarithm right there and convert it into something that's exponential form or vice versa. These are going to be equivalent expressions, so the same exact thing, it's just going to look different. So a way to convert it is you're going to take the base here to, the, to that power and that's going to equal whatever you're taking the log of. So I always kind of think of it as like a little, kind of like a little circle here where you can just kind of go around. So it'll be a to the b power equals x. And so these two are equivalent things. Um, this can be very helpful when you're solving, um, solving equations, uh, which we'll do in another video. But that's just really focus on how do I convert from one thing to the other. So example would be, let's say that I have log base 3 of, I'm going to say, 2x plus 3. Let's say that that equals 4. You can rewrite this as 3 to the 4th power equals 2x plus 3, because that's the thing you're taking the log of. And now this becomes much easier to solve as an equation. Um, I won't go through and solve it, but that's how, that's how you can use the converting from log form to exponential form to assist you. Um, some other log rules would be, let's say that we're adding two logs. So if I had log base a of x plus log base a of y, what does that equal? This is, um, it's called condensing logs. Again, know how to go back and forth between these two. But whenever you're adding logs, as long as they have the same base, you can put them together as one single log. So this would be log base A of X times Y. So whenever you're adding logs, you can take whatever you're taking log of and just multiply that on the inside. And again, that works both ways. Um, it's the same thing for, or similar thing for subtraction. If I have log base A of X minus log base A of Y, you can imagine if we are adding, we would multiply them. So if we're subtracting, we would divide. So it would be log base A of X divided by Y. And again, know how to go back and forth between those because that's going to be part of like expanding and condensing logs. Uh, one other log rule that exists um, would be if I have the log, actually two more log rules we'll go through. Um, again, we'll use base A. I'm going to say x to the y power. So if this is like, if there's an exponent and the thing you're taking a log of, um, logarithms are like the, kind of like the opposite of an exponent. And so what we can do is we can actually take this exponent here and we can bring it out in front. And so this is equivalent to y times log base a of just x. So with all of these rules, again, know how to go back and forth between the two because you will be expanding and condensing logs. There's one other um, rule I want to do, and that is the change of base rule. And this is going to be f mostly for people who uh, whose calculators can't have like type in the base in there and that's typically with your like TI-83 calculators. Uh, what we can do is we can write out um, log base A of X. That is equivalent to just the regular log of X divided by the log of a, you might say, hey, Mr. K, you didn't get rid of the logs. Well, this is something that you actually can, like, type, like if you could type this into your calculator if we had, like, a value for a, whereas this some calculators can't type in. Um, one thing to note is that if I have, like, log of x, whenever there's no number here, 
Um, thinking about the number system that we count in, it would be base 10, because like we have 10 digits, 0 through 9. So our log system, or our counting system is base 10. So whenever there's not a number here, it will always be base 10. And that is a, just a quick overview of some of the log rules that you'll need to know um, for this unit. Thanks, and have a great day.